Unit 1.2, Question 1. Express the following measurements in scientific notation. Before we convert the following values into scientific notation form, let's take a look at what scientific notation is. Scientific notation is a method of expressing very large or very small values in a simplified manner instead of writing them out in full. It is written as a number between 1 and 10 multiplied by a power of 10. This can be shown in the general form, such as a times 10 to the power of n, whereby the coefficient a has to be more than or equal to 1 and less than 10. We have 11 values to convert form, but let's take a look at the first six. Question 1. 5,800 meters. We have to move the decimal point three places to the left in order to to form a coefficient that is between 1 and 10. So we will have 5.8 times 10 to the power of 3. The value of 3 is derived from the number of times the decimal point moves. An important point to note would be that when the decimal point moves to the left, 10 is raised to a positive power. Question 2. We have 450,000 meters. We have to move the decimal point 5 times to the left, which gives us 4.5 times 10 to the power of 5. Question 3. We have 302 million meters. We have to move the decimal point 8 times to the left, giving us a co coefficient of 3.02. Thus, our final answer is 3.02 times 10 to the power of 8. Question 4. We have 86,000 million meters. We have to move the decimal point 10 times to the left, giving us a coefficient of 8.6. And our final answer is 8.6 times 10 to the power of 10 meters. Question 5 is a little different from the ones that we did above because the value is much smaller. Thus, we would have to move the decimal point towards the right instead. This means that we have to move it four times to the right to give us a coefficient of 5.08. Thus, our final answer is 5.08 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Note that 10 is raised to a negative power because the decimal point moves towards the right. Question 6. 0 0.0000045 kilograms. We have to move the decimal point seven times to the right giving us a final answer of 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 7. Question 7. We have 0 0.003600 kilograms. We have to move the decimal point 3 times to the right, giving us 3.600 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Question 8. We have 0 0.004 kilograms. Moving the decimal point 3 times to the right, we will have a final answer of 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Question 9. We have 300 million seconds. Since this value is really large, we have to move the decimal point towards the left. So after moving it 8 times, we will have 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Question 10. We have 186,000 seconds. We have to move the decimal point 5 times to the left to get a coefficient of 1.86. Thus, our final answer is 1.86 times 10 to the power of 5 seconds. And lastly, we have 93 million seconds. We have to move the decimal point 7 times to the left, giving us a coefficient of 9.3. Thus, our final answer is 9.3 times 10 to the power of 7.